all your package easily go through your unify gateway then your isp and then internet i say you should actually have some of them going through a vpn or NordVPN vpn to protect them in this video today we're going to actually put some specific traffic going toward unify and send them through a different internet so we're going to through send them through NordVPN, for instance and of course we're going to use wireguard because it is much faster and i love wireguard so let's go for it so i'm creating uh lcx now in proxmax because i'm going to use this lcx to demo today so i'm going to use debian and by the way, you could use every VPN you want. I have the YouTube 15 reduction code with NordVPN, which give you one extra month, but you also have like 73% at the moment anyway. So we'll give you the code and link in the description. Have a look, pick whatever you want, whatever VPN server you want. In my case, I have a lot of ethics with uh, are not very secure, like BitTorrent and everything. And I put them through a dedicated VPN for them. Uh, you could do that with IoT, I suppose, as well. Anyway, we have this uh, city which is just created. We're going to start it now. Uh, for who doesn't know much about uh, LCX and city, is basically a container. So we're just going to log in now and then clear to have a bit more space there. There we go. So basically, we're going to install, uh, we're first actually going to do an APT update just to make sure everything is fine. And then we're going to install NordVPN. So APT install Y, curl, GQ, WireGuard, as you can see on the corner there, there is a command. It's going to take quite some time and then clear. And we have this command here to install NordVPN. I guess that might take some time, but it's fine. And I think actually that's quite cool that they have a client on Linux. Uh, so well done NordVPN, I suppose. And we're going to have to log in on NordVPN and create um, access token. So if you scroll down there, you're going to see access token. So get access token and then generate access token. And they would recommend you to go for 30 days uh, and then expire. I just going to keep forever. And you have this request we should show in here. So we're going to say NordVPN. Login, if and if and token, and then you pass your token in there. So welcome to NordVPN. Uh, you can connect to NordVPN using NordVPN Connect. So we actually going to say NordVPN set technology node links. We are already here there, but so no need for you to do that. I suppose NordVPN connects. So I'm connected to France. Clear, and we're going to do WG show no link private key. So we're going to have a private key there. So copy that because you're going to need that for the config. And then we don't need sudo. Sudo is a do. We're just going to do WG show no link. And you can see the old config shows. You have the API address and everything. Copy this somewhere safe. Uh, add the private key. That's which is fine. And you have your config your config sorry ready to work so you can use that as a warrior guard config and we're going to do that to put that in unify i do love warrior guard because it's much faster and the quite recent protocol uh, i think it's pretty cool i use warrior guard for everything let me know if you guys use warrior guard as well uh, i'm gonna go over vpn and vpn client and create a new one and basically if you want to use open vpn it will be way easier, I just love what you're going. I'm going to name it, uh, let's say, NordVPN WG, and then I'm going to use Terminal, because why not? CD desktop, and you can use tab to autocomplete. And then I'm going to use Nano, because Nano is obviously the best. So Nano NordVPN.config. So we're just going to create this VPN with the text we had from earlier. And don't forget to add your private key in there. And then you can see is right there. So that's fine. And then we're going to upload it. You could do manual if you want, but I just like to have the file somewhere. And I'm going to connect. So you can see the configuration is valid. Connection is connecting. So it's going to take a few seconds. You could also do the this wizard here, but I'm going to go through the old fashioned way. So we are connected. So that's good. Uh, so if you go to policy based root, you have the possibility to create a new one. So I'm going to call it LCX demo 
And I would actually recommend you to set a static IP. So go over first, fix IP address, and you just have to save. I'm just gonna save the current IP address. And then here you can pick CT115, which is the name of my Linux machine I just created. And you can filter a bit. I'm gonna use a VPN of the C connection. So it's gonna go through this and a kill switch. So if internet of the VPN goes off, the internet connection goes off as well. Being Cloudflare, Cloudflare sorry, is working just fine. And just to show you, I'm not taking the piece. I'm just gonna show you my IP address. Uh, so pretty handy is curl efconfig.io, which return your IP address, your public address. And as you can see, but um, there we go. So that's not my IP. Uh, I'm gonna try to show the ISP. This doesn't seem to work. Okay, let's try something else. Your IP, ifn, IPA.com, and whatever you can see there at the corner. Okay, so each right communication, LTD is actually a VPN server. So as you can see now, is going through straight NordVPN and internet, not the ESP anymore. So that's quite cool. Anyways, that's about it for the video. So I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye-bye.